I want to welcome each and every one of you today. For many of us, this is very surreal. We were not an after-school program. We were a paramilitary revolutionary organization. And every time we put that beret on, we put our lives on the line. So I'd like each and every one of you here today to represent one of those young lords that are no longer with us. Let's remember the people. Let's remember the dead because they're asking us to remember them. They never, they never spoke, spoke back, back they when they were insulted. They worked. They never went on strike about permission. They never took days off that were not on the calendar. They worked 10 days a week and were only paid for five. They worked, they worked. They worked and they died. They died broke. They died owing. They died never knowing what the front entrance of the first National City Bank looks like. To commemorate the historical work of the Young Lords, on Saturday, July 26, the unveiling of the Young Lords Street was held in front of the First Spanish Methodist Church on 111th Street and Lexington Avenue. 1969, that the founders of the Young Lords Party got together and took the city by storm, creating a powerful organization based on militancy, based on struggle, based on principles, and based on courage. And this church here symbolizes that struggle. After being ignored for two more weeks, the lords and other people from the community took over the church. It was now the people's church. It's relevant to today because they have made, they made many strides back there, um, after school programs, um, the issue of lead poisoning, which uh, today most of our kids don't suffer from that. Back there it was really um, an epidemic. And um, they raised the consciousness in El Barrio that is still present until today. I think what inspired me that I found out from Philadelphia there was this uh, group out of Chicago and Philly. They were doing some, you know, out of the box type of uh, action. The trash wasn't getting picked up in, in uh, East Harlem and the city wouldn't cooperate. The people would just pile the trash up in the middle street, please get it picked, get it picked up. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, the Young Lords uh, uh, gave, set an example that it takes a lot of courage to do some of the things that we did. Things that was really different about the Young Lords, particularly given our stance on women and the demand that women really be in all levels of leadership, but we were also embracing of every single race and nationality of people who were interested in moving our world forward in justice, right? So we had members of our organization that were not just Puerto Rican, we had African American members, we had Asian members, we had white members, we had members of our organization, although predominantly Puerto Rican and Latino, that was that were that took part in what we were doing back then. It is a great, great moment for me of pride that in my neighborhood that we are recognizing the vanguard of a movement that turned this country around. But the young lords uh, were able to uh, show a lot of courage and to go on ahead and uh, encourage our people to, to use their courage to fight for their rights. And I think that's our biggest contribution. It's not a matter of just getting respect for us, but it's a matter of continuing this struggle that we have. They're legitimizing the fact that we are a colony and that we are fighting for liberation for our people. The Young Lords Party, paralleling the political groundwork that was being laid down across the nation, helped establish breakthroughs for communities of color to come.